Good morning. Uh, my name is Tom Rickey. I work with uh, Goshen Education Consulting, and we've worked with the IARSS since 2017 to complete the Educator Shortage Survey. I'm going to take a couple minutes here and highlight some of the features of the online interactive dashboard and help you navigate through uh, these results and this data. So the first landing page here is an overview page, and each page has its own title listed up here at the top to help you understand and interpret the context of the results that you're seeing. You can navigate to any one of the nine pages down here at the bottom by clicking through one of nine, or you can flip over here to the overview and you can jump to any page that you want. Now, this is an interactive dashboard in the sense that you can use this dashboard to dig through the data. And there are multiple ways that you can do that. On this first landing page at the top, there is a filter for the different regional offices of education. And you can click this drop down menu and go through your uh, regional office of education and see specific results for your regional office. To deselect, you can either, uh, you can unclick the one that you chose and it will go back to all of the um, regional offices of education. You can also interact with the dashboard through the map. If there's a particular county you're interested in, you can click that county and the dashboard will update for that county. You can also uh, use the uh, charts down below here to go through the data. And in particular, I suggest using this bar chart that uh, lists the number of responses. So there has a drill down feature and there's a little arrow right here that says click drill mode is on. I've already activated that, but you need to click that arrow so that it's highlighted. When you do that, you can click on the bar chart on any particular region and it will filter for that region as you see all the charts updated for that region. And so this is the Southwest region. If I wanna dig in further, I can click on an individual regional office of education and dig into that regional office of education. And furthermore, I can see which districts responded within that regional office of education. Uh, if I want to back up, I just click the up arrow and that will take me back up. You can also look at the rurality and the type. So if I want to just see the rural districts, I can click the rural uh, pie chart. If I just want to see the uh, unit districts, I can click the unit and see that pie chart. Um, that is most of the interactivity. But if we look at each one of these uh, other pages, you'll see the same map, the same bar chart, and the same pie charts on the right-hand side, and the same ROE drop-down menu at the top. And you can use those to dig into the data that's displayed on that page. Um, a lot of times when you see these maps, you can click and interact with the map, and that will update some of the charts, but again, these charts that are on the right-hand side are going to interact with the whole page. This chart right here is only interacting with this chart up here. So if I click a county, that uh, report of teacher shortage problem chart is the only one that's updating. The same thing, the charts on the right-hand side can be used to interact with this page. Again, the charts on the right. Now this one, uh, this is the teacher openings page. This chart is not uh, displaying the uh, response rate, it's displaying the percent underfilled. So we're looking at uh, underfilled positions. So for example, <clears throat> Bond County listed 100% unfilled. They only had one opening and it wasn't filled. six openings that weren't filled. You can click on the different fields in here, uh, the positions. So if I'm looking for math openings, I want to see where the math openings are. I can see where in the state all of the math openings were. 
this year we did collect them the opening position by grade span. So if I want to look at just elementary positions, I can deselect the middle school and high school. Or if I want to look at just the middle school positions, I can look at just the middle school positions. On page six here, we start looking at administrators. Again, you see the same charts on the right that you can use to filter through the data. You still have your ROE drop down menu. This again, this is about administrators, and you see the same charts on the right. These are the administrator openings, and like the teacher openings, the map is representative of percent unfilled. And you can click on the uh, position bar charts to see where those positions were. And then this last page is about the substitutes and you still have your charts on the right. That is the interactive dashboard and how to use it. Uh, feel free to reach out to me at my email address, tom at goshaneducationconsulting.com. I'm happy to answer any questions or assist you with any technical issues. Thank you.